Alright, so for putting the gallery gaskets in, so we've got these all nice and cleaned up, uh, polished off all the old material. Um, the, the most problematic part for the gallery gaskets here is, is this top bolt, right? So it sits, uh, sits behind this timing gear right in there. And it's kind of a pain in the ass to get off with the Phillips, but it's also a pain in the ass to get on. Um, and a lot of times people will pull uh, the intake and the exhaust uh, phaser off and, and disconnect them from the camshafts, which means that you have to take the valve cover off and the intake, and we're not gonna do any of that. So the way that I have a solution for this is we use our hex bolts that we have here plentifully, but also is this special four millimeter uh, semi-deep Mac uh, hex socket. So I'm gonna show you right now how we're gonna do this. We're gonna take two bolts you can get from CZP or from anyone. I prefer to use Rabbit Hole Motorsports because it's made in Canada. Uh, he supplies me CZP gaskets, but I prefer to buy his bolts because you know I'm gonna support him. Uh, he, he gives me the black metal or he gives me the stainless steel, both of which are equally good. They both hold the same tensile strength and they both torque down to the same amount but you'll see a difference here if you want to zoom in the stainless steel has a little bit of a chamfer on the top uh, as opposed to the black hardened steel there where it is like square all the way to the the edge and i like to use the ones that are square to the edge when i'm doing a gallery gasket in car now if i'm doing a gallery gasket on an engine build I will use the stainless steel ones because it's easy to do. We already have the camshafts out. We're not worried. But in this case, the black steel is your best friend. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Concept Z gallery gasket. We're just going to put one bolt through. Okay. And we're going to line it up. Take this hex. We're just going to thread that in by hand. So it's grabbing the threads real nice. Now, I know sometimes when I put these together, I'll, I'll go rainbow and I'll do silver, black, silver, black, silver, black, but we're going to do black today all the way around. Um, so, again, the most important part here is making sure that this bolt see how it hits see how it hits against the gear there making sure that this bolt is uh properly torqued without stripping the head so the real key here is fucking with this intake gear because you can get this hex past a gear tooth to get it straight on so watch this Never use an impact gun to torque your gallery gaskets, but to run them in, eh, why not? Perfect. Just like that. So now you go around, you get three, maybe four in line. Torque them in, and you're good. So I've got uh, both upper and lower gaskets installed with all of the bolts. So now we're gonna run around in a crisscross pattern and we're gonna torque them to 108 inch pounds, which is equal to nine foot pounds. Uh, you need an inch pound ometer. And this is why I bought this quarter drive four mil because I had a good three eighths, but I'd rather use a quarter drive torque wrench. So the way that I like to start is in the V of the gallery gasket here. And I work my way down. And out. 
There is a specific torque sequence. I know I've dealt with EPS tuning gaskets before. They have their own way of saying, oh, you need to go all the way over. No. If you look at the way that the gallery gasket is shaped, it's not the same as a head gasket. You torque in an even amount based on how much space there is. So we're gonna go over here. This is the most important part. I'm not gonna cover doing the bottom, but if you look for the final one, we're gonna get right in there. Perfectly torqued to nine foot pounds. We're gonna go back down. And honestly, guys, if you're doing this at home and you're worried about how you're gonna get these torqued, spend the money, buy a socket like this. I'm sure you can get an Astro or whatever on Amazon for dirt fucking cheap. And if you can't adjust the cam gear accordingly, you can use a big ass set of channel locks and go back and forth if you need. Or you can use a 17 millimeter socket with a breaker bar and you can move it whatever way you want. But if you get in there on an angle and you think that you're not gonna be sure, stop. The amount of times that I have stripped this bolt with these, mind you, with those, it's just, it's not worth it. Line this one up and you can get in there perfectly. Now, if you want to know how to get the Phillips head out of there, you figure it out the fuck yourself. That's why people come to me. I got my own ways.